Let's take a look at the Robust Feed U6. This particular feeder is used on the 500iX and the U5000i. This is the first feeder that we get into basic pulse programs for carbon steel, stainless steel, and aluminum. It also still welds with stick electrodes, a variety of them very well, carbon arc gouges, and also utilizes live TIG for basic DC TIG applications. It also does carbon arc gouging very well, just like the Warrior family. Like I mentioned before, this is the first panel that we get into Pulse. It has 10 memories. It has limits and locks for those shops that we need to keep uh, the welders from going outside the procedure. And it gives us a bunch of functionality with a pretty simple display. So let's take a look at the front panel here. When we first turn it on, it'll come up with what we call our measure screen. That gives us the wire feed speed and voltage and or volt trim, depending on the process that we're running. And then we also have a bunch of soft keys down at the bottom. These keys are things that we can activate like gas purge, wire inch, and trigger lock, to name a few. Also, we have our controls here on the side to make adjustments. To see what we're running, we can click our menu key one time, and it gives us a rundown of what the machine's set up for. Right now we're set up on a stainless steel wire for a 98 argon 2 CO2 gas, pulse MIG welding in Synergic, and on an 045 diameter. The reason we have to give the, the machine all this information is because I mentioned there briefly a Synergic. What is Synergic? Synergic is a series of points plotted based on how the wire operates. So we go and we build a pulse line for a whole range for this machine based on that information. And then when you turn the process on and you set a wire feed speed, it gives you a predetermined voltage and or arc length. You can trim this on the front panel with the voltage trim knob if you would like a different arc length, but that's how we get you into the baseline settings for your pulse parameters. Another advantage of a Synergic line is once it's all set up and we get it dialed in and we come back to this main screen, once we get our settings set at, let's say, 200 inches per minute and we get a trim set to where we like it, when we run the wire feed speed up, it tracks the voltage with it. It essentially turns the unit into a one knob control setup, which is a huge benefit of Synergic lines. Still, over wide runs, you may find that you need to do some finite trimming to get that perfect arc for your application. In this unit, we have over 90 Synergic lines covering everything from carbon steel, metal core, flux core wires, stainless and aluminum gas and wire combinations. So let's say we've just completed a weld and we want to save this into memory. It's a very simple process. We key our menu button one time to get into this submenu. Once again, it tells us everything that we have set up. Then over here at the far right, we have memory. We click that one time. It's once again going to show us what we're currently utilizing, wire feed speed, volts, everything. And then we can have the option to hit next. Here we already have a memory stored, but we're actually going to overwrite it. So we're going to store our data on this entry here. It's going to prompt us that we are storing something different than it has in that slot. And if we'd like to continue, we just click yes. Now you'll see that the information we had on that previous screen is populated to memory slot number one. Once we've stored memories, maybe we have multiple in the system and we're jumping around from process to process. When we want to get back to that old memory, we can use the recall button here to pull that memory back up and utilize it. Another thing we can set up on this controller is limits and locks. So let's say we have a procedure that we need our welders to follow and we want to make sure that they don't go outside of that. We can set a min max on wire feed speed and voltage and assign it to the memories that we've already saved. Another advantage of the U6 is we have all of our process control at the panel. So instead of going back to some older systems where we have to go back to the power supply to change processes, we can do all that off the front panel. With the addition of the extra OKC port on the back of the feeder, we can utilize this for our stick welding or carbon arc gouging capabilities. This means less cables on the ground, faster changeover from process to process, and just gives us a better all balance with this style feeder setup. Also, we can leave it installed even when it's not in use. And since the cable set is rated to handle the output of the machine at its given length, we can successfully hook up a carbon arc torch and use it at peak performance for those tougher back gouging jobs. In the, the situation with one customer where their power supplies were far separated from the workstation, 
and they had um, a track system in between so the operators could not w or welders could not walk back and forth freely to the power supply. They had a lot of issues. It was a structural steel shop that had to utilize gouging to get full penetration welds. So what we did is we, we used the extra port on the back to put the uh, carbon arc torch on the system and then since we can select process right at the front of the feeder and it communicates back to the power supply that made it a lot more simple for their operations. It also cleaned up because we didn't have to run extra cables. We just used the actual cable set that the feeder runs off of standard. On top of that, they found our arc performance to be very well liked throughout the shop and meeting their procedure.